Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to another episode of, uh, well, a new episode of Stoneheart. So there was recently uh, another patch and all that stuff, so we're going to, uh, we're going to start up a new Stonehearth playthrough. Uh, the whole plan for this one is basically just to get as many, basically just to get as many people as we can. Um, there's going to be no economic plan or anything, really. It's just going to be to play through the campaign and get as many people as we can. So with that in mind, let's get things going, shall we? What do we want to start with? Do we want to start with a farmer with berries and carrots and food and all that stuff? Where we literally have food for days? Do we want to start off with trappers so we can sell some stuff and get food at the same time? We also have a footman that we can get going right at the beginning. Um, kind of thinking food for days. I haven't done this one. Where you can, where we can get a farmer right off the bat. Would have no problem getting a farmer right off the bat because that means we can just get food right from the beginning going. Um, let's re roll that. There's the world seed if you're interested. Uh, I mean, if I did this and we started in the top corner there, that wouldn't be too bad actually. Kind of something like this. Then we'll have the mountains across from us to actually go into and plunder. We'll also be on the edge of the map, I'm hoping, is where we're going to start in the top right-hand corner there. So then we'll also have the ability to uh, mine a lot easier as well. Wow, that is a lot of mountain. So one of the ways this is actually going to be a little harder is because there is mountain like crazy on the other side of this map. Like this is going to be perfect. I've never actually done a, a playthrough where there's like just a ridiculous amount of mountains. Um, we're actually going to start. Do we start down here? Or do we start up here? We're going to start up 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 here in the town or village of Green Glen. We're going to throw a ladder right there to start. We're also going to harvest trees here we'll be going right off the right off the hop perfect clear nice little area there this is the new little communication system where they'll you can actually see where they're actually communicating to one another which I really like uh, first thing I'm gonna do is say, anyone here want to be a farmer? Okay, so no one has a green thumb. There are three people that want to be crafters, though. Do you have an animal companion? Ah, uh, you'll be our farmer. Uh, Ursula, you're gonna be our carpenter. Go and right off the bat, there we go. We're gonna set up our first farming location right there with turnip and carrots. We're also gonna tell our crafter to create a workbench. We're gonna tell everybody else. We're going to designate this corner here as our stockpile. Everything will be in there for now. There we go. And we're going to max the speed out. We let our let our little minions do the thing they're going to do. We got lots of food. We're going to get more food down here soon. Here you're offering me more corn and tulips. Wait, turnips. Corn and tulips. Corn and turnips. We're now also going to place this. Uh, bop, bop. We're going to just place you right there for now. We're also going to look around. Do we have bushes? Do we have berry bushes here for food? That's it. Okay. So we're going to bring these up for now as well. And we're going to place them like so. So, now we want 
least keep one thing in so they can actually be accessed, like one little row in between. Direction they face does not matter. Though I think that might be the direction they drop their goods in, possibly. Come on. Well. And people will collect those momentarily. So usually with Stone Hearth, it does take a little while to get things going. I'm going to do a lot of live streams and stuff like that. There will be live streams today. I'm um, just doing three quick little videos. I was going to do some fr um, Franchise Hockey Manager, but I realized I might as well just keep that to a live stream. Alright, so it doesn't actually... Interesting. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say get rid of that as well. So now we should be a little bit more safe. We now have all the wood in this area gone. We're gonna start building our houses along this wall. Actually, yeah, we're gonna build a house here, maybe. Or I might start building a, a mine, maybe, or a house. A mine or a house. Uh, houses are good to get our value up as fast as we can. We might actually just do a house. Uh, get a stonemason going as well, so we definitely want regular homes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right off the bat, we're going to build some shared sleeping quarters. We're going to build them over here. We can't build them there because the trees are in the way. Let's start over here, shall we? Well, actually, the... F hmm. Well, here is our center point. So, you know what? We're going to start around here somewhere. Let's go, let's say there for now. Best part is we can always just demolish the building later on, so. Shouldn't take too long to finish building. And then we'll build another one. Uh, maybe even keep the stockpile in behind the homes a little bit. Later on we'll move this. And they're all sleeping during the day. That's good to know. There we go. Okay. I wonder what happens if someone's sleeping on like a wall that needs to be built. Can I build a stone mason yet? Nope. But I can go with you. Getting a soldier as far or a footman as fast as we can would be a good thing too because we are going to be getting attacked so it's always something we're going to have to worry about and what we'll probably do as well is build uh, stairs coming down this way and build more homes down this way we're not going to do anything extravagant nothing too crazy uh, I might fortify this up a little bit Wish there was a way to get rid of that. Um, yeah. There'd be a lot of minerals and deposits to get to over here. So let's definitely think, keep that in mind. The next plan will be to obviously move down to this area here. Kind of f polish off the hill a little bit, then probably do a mine here, have the mine go in, clean out this huge area, and then slowly work our way down. Uh, probably to pick this level. Maybe? Yeah, because the water is there, so. Water's not even that deep. It's only a couple layers deep, so. Not so bad. Yeah, this is just kind of an intro, get things done, get things kind of set up. And then we will live stream this as well. I'll do some terror tech, all that stuff. Um, can I sell you anything right now? Yeah, no. Boo. Alright, so I think the building is done. Yep. 
Perfect. Ooh, so we're going to build another one. Uh, we're going to set it kind of kitty corner. Like so. But the question is can I also then build another one? Right there. I can. But the fence is going to be. A little short. Right, we're going to build both of these at the same time. Later on, we'll have a, like a little stone fence that goes around things, so... Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. Farmer level 1, that's the dog. Our carpenter is going to be rather leveled up by the end of all this. The plan here is also to have uh, a, a situation where we can also have enough room for 12 people right at the beginning. Uh, we have 8 at the moment, 7 at the moment. So we'll have some free beds, give the town some wealth. Um, we'll also build a road that also increases the wealth, connecting all three homes together. Um, roads, if you don't know, actually increase the speed upon which your um, hearthlings move, which is always a good thing. Um, We'll just connect the three buildings for now and maybe do something with the farm. Like maybe do like a little rogue down the middle maybe. Nothing too nothing too fanatic. Or, or sorry, uh, fantastic. Fanatic. Nothing too crazy, nothing too 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 over the top, new nothing too ostentatious for now. We just want to get our, our buildings done. Get our stuff complete. Get uh get what we need done so that things can properly we'll say allocated and situated and things like that because this too will also kind of keep our um, stockpile a little um, harder to access when we have bad guys showing up hopefully because we're up here and there's no way to get to us the bad guys won't uh, spawn up here but you never know our carpenter is now a level three carpenter which is good I think I would just disappear there um, we're gonna go. S we're gonna go stone. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? See, now there is a way for me to do this, and I'll show you guys in a minute. I can theoretically cheat at doing some mining and get to that level real fast. Um, you guys will see momentarily. Piece of wood up there. Basically, what you usually take the corner and you dig all the way down, and then just throw a uh, a ladder. And you basically go level by level by level. Come on, guys. So what you do basically is you take it and you go basically like like so, but you keep going down. There we go. And we got our first uh, hearthling. They're showing up over here, which is good. Uh, so that means they're not spawning somewhere else in the map. Um, I've had that before where we've set up a map like this. And almost immediately, the hearthlings were spawning somewhere else in the world. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I picked out a little island like this. And they were spawning, like, over here somewhere. So it was kind of screwing me over, and we just say, so and so uh, was it um, unable to add hearthling, no road to whatever, to whatever this is. Or was it this? Either way, they just said it was like the hearthling, you know, couldn't find his way to town type thing. Uh, are you guys going to finish building this house or what? Oh, you guys want a fence here, don't you? Or a. Damn it. So someone's going to go like that. There we go. Damn it. Let's 
Actually, I don't need this. Because they're still building it no matter what anyways. Okay. Perfect. My only worry is a hearth thing getting stuck over here, so we might have to build a, a ladder here momentarily. Actually, we're just going to throw that ladder right there. Boom. Harling should get there and leave. Perfect. Get rid of that, please. Done. Thank you. Now we're going to go. Please. guys are basically keep doing it until they get hungry. Perfect. Then we go one more. Then we say ladder. Uh, like so. Done. Now they can all leave. We're now down to stone level, I guess you could say. And people can just go up and down the ladder now. Then what we can do is say start uh, digging this out, please. We can also do slice and say I want you to cut down to this height. And then we'll just round that out and there we go so we're already now down to um we'll say uh stone slash uh material height did all that in the first episode usually it takes a couple episodes to do that get to that level but what are you gonna do uh we actually should now be able to build ourselves you perfect there we go so that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, in the next one, it's probably going to be a live stream where we actually build the town up. A lot of houses like this for the next little bit, uh, just so we can get uh, things kind of going, get the war the wealthy wealthiness of our town up. Uh, roads, houses, all that stuff. Till then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.